Okay, in this video, let's talk about getting set up. As I said in the introduction, we'll be focusing on the Aqueduct server in this course. And so I'm going to assume that you've already got Dart and your IDE installed. But if you don't, I just want to give you some directions for how you can do that. And I'll let you do that on your own. If you have any problems, then let me know and I'll help you through it. Let me just point you in the right direction in this lesson. So to install the Dart SDK, then go to dart.dev. After that, you can go to get Dart. And here it'll give you the directions for how to download the Dart SDK for your machine. There's Windows, Linux, and Mac. As you can see, I'm using a Mac, but you certainly don't need to. If you're a Flutter developer, you might be thinking, well, Flutter already has the Dart SDK wrapped up in it, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And I think you could probably do it by using the Dart SDK in Flutter. But there are some minor differences between the Dart SDK and Flutter and the standard Dart SDK. So anyway, I'm going to suggest that you just install the plain Dart SDK separately. And you can get directions for how to do that here on this page. After you've installed it, you can go to the terminal and just type in Dart version. And you should see the version of Dart that you're running. I'm running version 2.3. If you don't get anything and your operating system doesn't recognize the command, probably that's because you don't have it in the path. So just make sure that Dart is in the path. Again, if you need help with any of that, let me know and I'll either add another lesson or I'll point you in the right direction for how to solve that. After you've got Dart installed, then you'll want to make sure that it's supported in your IDE. In this series, I'm going to be using IntelliJ. Now, if you want to use VS Code, that's fine too. I've used both of them and they're both great. I decided to go with IntelliJ for a couple reasons. One is the Aqueduct documentation recommended it. And another is because if you're a Flutter developer, developing in Android Studio, then it'll be very similar for both setups. All your shortcut keys will be the same and all that, since Android Studio is based on IntelliJ. If you're not doing Flutter development or you just like Visual Studio Code better, go for it. You can open it. I'm using the Community Edition. That'll be fine for everything we need to use. You'll want to make sure you have the plugin installed for Dart. Go to Configure and Plugins in the Marketplace. You can type in Dart. I've already installed it. So you can find it over here at Dart. We're not actually going to create a new project here. We're going to use the Aqueduct command line to do that in the next lesson. If you did create a new project, then if you've installed the Dart template, you should see Dart here. Notice that I've already got my SDK path um, right here. Yours may be in somewhere different, but when you install Dart, just note where the SDK is installed at. Okay, we're not going to do this now. We'll cancel that. In the next lesson, we're going to set up our project with Aqueduct. See you soon.